Got a new motor in today. This is a Yamaha four stroke, a 9.9. I believe it is a 1988, at least that's what I was told. I haven't run the serial number on it. It's not running. I got it from a, a person who, it seems like he works on motors. He claims he didn't try to get it running. Pulled on it a few times and it didn't run. It was allegedly for a client. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Motor doesn't seem in too bad a shape. I mean, it's a little dirty on the outside. It's a little dirty on the inside too, but still seems pretty good for a 1988. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll check the uh, compression on it, and we will also test the spark. Uh, check the oil. Uh, we'll, we'll do all the things that need to be done before we actually try to fire this thing up. So not sure how well it showed up, but we do have spark on both top and bottom cylinders. So I think next I'm going to go ahead and we'll, let's see if we can get it fired up. I don't have an adapter to uh, uh, for this size threads for the spark plug, so I cannot check compression right now. I did order one, so I'll check it later. But I think today we'll just go ahead and see if we can get it to crank. The fuel system looks pretty junky. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I'm not entirely familiar with. Uh, Yamaha's in their system, but I'm pretty sure some of these are vacuum lines and they probably shouldn't be full of gunk So uh, I'll look for a diagram and see if I can figure that out, but we'll see if we can start it from now All right, Before we start it, let's check and make sure that there's oil in here Oil looks new. I wonder, I'm pretty sure, so this thing doesn't have a, a choke on it, so I'm pretty sure that it has some fancy startup system which uses these vacuum lines. And with them being clogged like this, I'm, a, I'm not sure that it's gonna start, but we'll try. We'll give it the college try. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try putting some fuel right in the cylinders. See if that helps.
We'll try some carb cleaner. Probably not the best, but it's what I got. See if that made a difference. There we go. Okay. That's good news. So it wants to fire with some fuel in the cylinders. So that tells me that there's probably something wrong with the carburetor and the starting system here, which I'm not really familiar with. Alright, I got all my carburetor gear together. Let's knock this out. Uh, <laughs> the first thing I noticed, and it's kind of hard to see in this light, but there is a straw sticking through this butterfly valve right here. So that thing was never closing. So that's probably uh that's probably a problem. That's one of the problems, so I can fix that easily. One, one problem solved. Wow, yeah, that's bad.
got the carburetors back on. Let's uh, let's crank on it a few times. Let's see if it'll start. Sweet, that's good news, it runs. I think we're gonna have to do some impeller work on it though. It's not painted at all and it's getting kinda hot, so I'll shut her down. I've got an impeller coming in the mail, so I will work on that when it comes in and uh, and then we'll probably just get her cleaned up and I think it's good to go, test it out. Oh yeah, this impeller is done. So this thing is completely dry rotted, broken. Not even all the fins were facing the same direction. So we'll put the new one in, see if that solves our water problem. I've already got the key in there.
we've got it all fixed up. It's got the uh, water pump has been replaced. It's got new lower unit oil in it. Cleaned it up a little bit. Reverse. 